Hey guys, it's Sharp here. I got you the Fable 3, and I'm going to be telling you guys how to get all four of the golden keys in this video. They're uh, kind of a tough one to find, and some of them require you to have a little, little bit of playtime, I guess you could say. But for the first key, all you're going to want to do is spawn in Miss Peak Valley, and then spawn near the uh, when you spawn near the mercenary camp. You just turn around and follow the coast. You'll have to fight these uh, mercenaries, and then you just hang a right up towards, uh, like you're going into the mountains. And then once you s head past the the, uh, I should say, the bright wall sign, I believe it it is. You hang a left, and there should be a chest up there on the ledge. And then you go in this cave entrance right here, and then you just follow the path past. You don't go. You don't go into the frozen lake, you go past that and keep following it and you'll eventually you'll pass a silver chest, a silver key chest, I think it requires 15 keys and then you'll end up at an exit and right after that exit you'll see your silver key or your golden key, I'm sorry. This game is just full of surprises and funny stuff, I'm, my, one of my favorite things in the game is just the chickens. It's really funny when you're doing the chicken quest in Brightwall, it's just a block. A block, a block, a block. It's really funny. I had a good laugh out of it. But, continuing on. You'll find a lot of mobs in here to fight. Uh, it's just, a lot of them are just annoying, especially the hobs. Like, it seems like the the mobs in this game are a lot harder than they were back in Fable 1. Like, the hobs just take 15 million more hits to do. It's ridiculous. But, as you can see, you exit right here and the golden key will be right in this location. Um, I already have the golden key for this location because it's the first one you can get. So, yeah. For the second golden key, however, it's going to be a little bit more of a uh, of a run. And I hope you're patient because it's really annoying. You'll spend probably like f five minutes just getting to it just because of how annoying it is. What you want to do is you want to go to Driftwood. And when you go to Driftwood, you'll follow the bridge to the main island. Well, I, I don't think it's the main island, but you'll f you'll follow the bridge. And uh, I think it's the bridge mostly to your right. Either that or it's the middle bridge. We'll see in a second. But, uh, this key is just, it involves flick switches. Just a bunch of them. And you have to follow it. And it gets really annoying. But, yeah, see, you, you just, you take this first bridge right here that you see when you first come into the zone. And you go to that island. And off that island, you s there's a little island that le well, it's a bridge that lives leads to a little piece of land, and on it is a pedestal, and there'll be a flick switch on there. Um, you can only get this golden key if you have gotten the uh, island paradise achievement on your uh, on your playthrough, which means that the island is fully built and won't develop any further because there's certain parts of the the map that you can't get to until the island is actually fully built but you'll just run up here to this pedestal the annoying sound and you'll hit it and you're gonna be chasing it for about five minutes but I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead because it's just it'd be annoying it, I, I couldn't pain myself in making you guys watch it plus it cuts my video time in half but eventually you end up right here on top of the hill and you come up to a Cullis gate. And it activates the Cullis gate. And then you uh, go through the Cullis gate. And once you go through the Cullis gate, you just you follow the path after you get to the Cullis gate. And your golden key will be right there on the ledge. And that will be your first two golden keys. Um, the, the golden doors, some of them are really annoying. One has... One golden door has a full set of highwayman armor. The other, go uh, the other two, uh, two more golden doors have legendary weapons, and one golden door has guild seals and summon creature potions. It's really annoying, but 
as for the third golden key what you you're gonna have to have been to aurora and you're gonna have to have um these two zones right here unlocked you want to go to the uh the veiled path right here and uh when you go to the veiled path you'll want to follow it it's pretty long but you'll follow it until you see these the statues right here on the left there's three of them and the statues up there on the uh the three statues right there on the ledge and you'll when you get up to the three statues right here on the ledge you're gonna hang a right and the door to what's called the Enigma will be right here. Um, this this uh, is pretty much a puzzle room. Uh, or I should say a puzzle. When you first walk in, it'll be just this room right here with a chest. That door right there in front will not be open. But that blue little symbol up there is a, is actually a flick switch. And when you shoot it, when you shoot it, it uh, it will open this door. And when you go into it, um, the doors will start opening from left to right and there will be mobs that come out of each one every time a door opens and then once every door opens this middle door will open and then it's a, the mobs again all these doors will open one at a time and then the this door all the way to the very right will open and inside it it will have a couple mobs but you finish them off and then as you can see there's a middle pedestal right here with three different colors and if you look facing the two uh, I, I should say altars you see the two the two altars right there you'll have to it's kinda like a game of Simon only you can see ahead of time what the colors are you'll have to follow it from left to right so here it'd be it'll be red or it'll be yellow blue yellow red and then blue red blue red and you'll you'll go on in order op uh, stepping on all of them and they'll make a it'll flash and make a sound when you do it and then finally this door will open and then you'll f you'll follow it down the pathway and at the very end will be your golden key fairly simple however the fourth and final key requires you to have beaten the main quest line and it, it'll, it'll have to be after you have beaten the game and you're playing it through this guy right here will be standing right out in front of the of one of the stores in the middle of Aurora um, likely right next to the uh, I believe that was the uh, stylist or yeah I believe that was a stylist right at, right next to the stylist shop and you'll have to buy a key from 4,000 gold it it won't be that much at the end of the game trust me as you can i mean i've i had about 10 mil in my treasury but you'll uh you'll teleport to the shifting sands and then you'll f hoof it all the way to the other side of the the shifting sands and you'll i tried to speed it up here but my vegas is being really really gay i'm sorry to have to paint you guys and making you watch me run across the desert but you can skip ahead to about uh, I, I want to say about a minute ahead and you guys should be able to you would be but if you want to follow the path and if you don't know how to get there then you can just watch the whole thing but uh, you just you start off at the, and you, these these freaking sand things just pop up everywhere and they you, god they hit so hard and you can barely hit them, so I just I decided to roll around and start spamming my uh, woven blade plus fire, and it seemed to be working pretty well. And I also have um, uh, I forget what that weapon is, but it's it's fully upgraded. And one of the one of the uh, upgrades is that it has a chance to stun, and that's what the uh, the lightning periodically is. And I also have the uh, the bone masher fully upgraded that you get out of morning wood and one of the the silver chests that does uh, plus it, uh, I think I have it fully upgraded so it does plus seven damage to all enemies and then eighty percent more damage to hollow men and then I have uh, oh man I really wish I could remember my sword's name I got it out of a uh, demon door f with the legendary weapon but here um, I actually chose you this is one of the things you get to choose when you're uh, when you become ruler um, you get to choose to build an outpost in Aurora. That's what this is.
but if you didn't choose to build it, just ignore it. Just it's it'll just be open sand right here without all the buildings. But man, it's it's probably one of the biggest areas. Um, I wasn't gonna put together a, a silver key guide, but there's 50 of them, and yeah, that would take like six videos to cover. So I'm not gonna do that. You're better off just. I don't know if you're a visual learner and you like to watch videos. I'm sorry, 50 keys. I, I I really don't have the time and patience to do all those. Plus, I already found them once. I don't want to go back and find them again. But uh, you can use the uh, IGN's guide if you really need to uh, really need to find the uh, silver keys. They'll have them all within the week, guarantee it. But here, as you can see, you go all the way across the desert, and it's all the way to the left. It's called uh, uh, Crossroads of Passing, and you'll enter it, and it'll. it's really easy. What you do is you'll come in, and you'll come in, and uh, a, a platform will come up, like with the arrows, like f when you did the uh, book, like the book quest or whatever for the guy, and it'll just you'll jump on all these all these uh, blue arrows and eventually you come out and you go into you you have to go into the, each of the side rooms and press the two uh, switches on the floor and we'll light the two lanterns in front of the main door and then you can walk through the main door and then the golden key will be right inside there but again for this fourth and last gold key you must have beaten the game and it, it has to be your anniversary of ruler of Albion and you have had to have uh, you know beat the main quest line and uh, that guy will be available in Aurora to buy the uh, to buy the key for 4K. But uh, that's about all I have for you guys today. Um, just tell me what you think. Uh, tell me if I if this helped you, or you know, give me some crucial criticism that I need to make my videos better. But uh, I hope this guy I hope this guy helped, and I'll see you guys later.